Hello everyone, if you're like me and you become obsessed with all these smart home gadgets and you started out with a hub such as SmartThings or maybe Wink and it's just not offering you the capabilities that you want and you're ready for more, stick around and I'm going to show you what I would recommend you do next. Hello there, this is my channel MattTube. I'm a technology enthusiast with a passion for all things tech. On this channel, you'll find many different videos. I love exploring new tech gadgets, being creative, and taking you with me on my life travels. I hope you'll subscribe to my channel and come along with me on my journey. So if you started out with a hub such as Wink or SmartThings and you've outgrown it, what I would recommend moving to is a product called Haas.io or Haas.io. Haas.io is available online and it's open source which means you can download for free. It's really simple to use, and all you need is a Raspberry Pi and probably a Z-Wave USB stick. You can get into this hardware-wise for probably about $80. So that's great considering the power that this is going to offer you. This video is not gonna cover how to set it up because there's plenty of videos online. This video is just aimed at showing you some of the capabilities that Haas.io has given to me, and I'm gonna show you a little bit about my smart home and what it's capable of doing. With Haas.io, you're in control. Another benefit about Haas.io is that everything is running locally at your house. It's not a cloud-based tool. The SmartThings Hub and the Wink, those things require the internet because they're using a cloud-based service. Haas.io is totally local and running at your house, and that is great. If you lose the internet, your system is still able to function. Your lighting control works, your scenes still work. Let's look at the interface. Haas.io comes with a web interface, so an iPad, a laptop, you go to the address locally at your house and you've got a full interface. Now I bet you're wondering how you can control your devices remotely. If you want to take it on the road and you want it to work on your phone, if you have an iOS device, there is an app you can download. It does point to your internal server. You will have to open your firewall to allow your app to connect into your house. I've had no problems with it so far and I really like it. How does Haas.io integrate with my devices I currently have? Best software package I've found that connects to the most amount of devices out there. First of all, I'm using it for lighting. I'm using it with Z-Wave, Hue, and a few other cloud-based devices. It works great. Hue I'm using because I like the ability to change colors on the bulbs, and it works fairly well, and so it has integrated nicely with my Haas.io. The other components I've added is my Ratio Sprinkler System controller, my Go Control garage door, my Nest thermostat, my Ring doorbell. So pretty much all of those things that you probably already have at your place is very easily integrated with Haas.io. The other thing that Haas.io does that's very powerful is it integrates with Alexa and Google. Having the ability to control your smart devices with your voice is actually very cool. Google, turn the kitchen lights on. Sure, turning on eight lights. The power of automations. Now, some of the amazing power that it offers is the ability to do automations based on any event. As an example, if someone comes to the front door, I can have the ring doorbell detect motion. Motion at the front door. Tell Haas.io to turn on the lights via Z-Wave at the entryway. So that's pretty cool. Here's an example of a real automation I have running at my house. When the alarm system is set to armed away, I want the following actions to occur. I want Haas.io to turn all of the lights off. I want it to turn the TV off via the Harmony Hub. I want it to lock the front door and to make an announcement. Here it is in action. The alarm system is Harmony in away mode. I'll turn off devices that are not needed while you are not home. Another thing I've done with my GE switches is set one tap to turn the light off and two taps to turn the entire room off, giving me more flexibility in my light switch capacity. And the opposite is true for turning the lights back on. What a value added. Lighting scene control. Now, scene control is something that I really wanted, and that's the ability to tap a button and have my lights adjust to a certain preset save scene. What I ended up using are these little switch plates that have a touch screen which interact with Haas.io perfectly. And that is a separate project. I will put a link down in the description below for you to look at. 
These switch plates allow me to set scenes within my house. They show me information about the weather. I can also control the brightness and dimness of certain appliances. Security system. Security systems are a big topic right now within the home automation community and SmartThings area. There's a lot of new products coming out, such as Ring, security, all these all-in-one wireless type devices. For me, I found that I like to keep the security separate from my home automation system. And what I do is I integrate the two together. That way, if for any reason the home automation system isn't working correctly, I can rest assured that the security system is still working correctly. Now, I have the Elk MK1, and through a serial connection, it is connected to the OS IO device, and it integrates very well. What this gives me is the ability to have the security system separate from my home automation system, yet they're able to function and work together. When a door opens, again, I'm able to trigger events within my home automation system. Here's a simple automation detecting when the door is opened. Back door. Through an automation, I make an announcement through the Google Voice. I can arm and disarm the system through the Hasio GUI. But for any reason, if that home automation system is unavailable, my security system still works. Adding the integration between the security system and my home automation system has made it more powerful. If the alarm goes off through my home automated system, I'm able to get alerts from my phone. Now that's pretty cool. What about the support and the online community? I want to talk a little bit about the Haas.io community. As you know, you can download the software for free, which is great. And the community works so well in their forums. You can ask questions. People answer things very quickly. They're um, quick to integrate new products that come on the market. And here are my closing thoughts. I think that the Haas.io platform is really great. It provides that flexibility that I just couldn't find with the Wink or SmartThings system. Haas.io is very powerful and there's so many more things that it's doing at my house that I wasn't able to show you. If you have any questions or would like me to expand on something, please put those questions in the comments below and I will do my best to answer them or create another video. Now there is a little learning curve to learning the new software, but in time I'm pretty sure you'll be able to conquer it as I did. With Haas.io I'm pretty much able to do almost anything I can think of. <laughs> Hey everyone, thanks so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please give me a thumbs up and that lets me know that it was content that you enjoyed. If you loved it, please consider subscribing to my channel. And as always, I hope to see you in the next one.